guys, what's going on? This is The Conservative Speaking, and I wanted to talk about Alec Baldwin. So Alec Baldwin is in the news because he shot and killed uh, Helena Hutchins, who was <clears throat> the, the, cine, the cine, cine photographer um, on, a, on a movie set called Rust, in which Alec Baldwin was the executive producer of and and the actor in the movie that he was executive producing. So Alec Alec Baldwin um, shoots shoots and kills uh, Helena Helena Hutchins while while using a gun that's while using a prop gun that supposedly had live rounds in it. Now the the live the um, the prop gun was handled by four people the prop gun master uh, whose name is let me see who the prop gun master who uh, a, a a woman named Sarah Zachary so Sarah Zachary was the one that removed the guns uh, that removed the guns from from the safe that was in the truck. <clears throat> and then handed it then to to the uh, to the film armorer, who who then who supposedly uh, checked the barrel and checked the I guess checked the barrel to check to make sure that that uh, that the gun was safe, and then the gun was then handed to the assistant director, and then before eventually being handed down to Alec Baldwin but even still Alec Baldwin was responsible for still checking checking the gun because even though you had three other people that that checked the gun ultimately he's the one that's responsible for <clears throat> for making sure that that the gun uh is checked and that there are no and that there's no live rounds in the chamber okay uh, also, not not to mention too the prop gun that was ultimately used then to to kill this crew member on a movie set uh, was the was was left that along with the ammunition was left unattended for during lunchtime. So the guns were out, but no one was checking the guns during um, uh, I guess during lunch recess. So it's possible that someone on the set or someone that was unauthorized to be on the set possibly put a live round in a, in the prop gun. Uh, <clears throat> and and it was possible that 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 that's I mean that's possible that that scenario could have happened. Um but we won't know until until there until there are more details coming out, but ultimately this really falls on Alec Baldwin. And don't you find this ironic? Now, now, obviously, for for Hala, uh, for Hala Hutchins, for Hala Hutchins' family, I mean, this is tough because this is something that should have never happened in the first place. And considering that uh, a prop gun can can discharge a live round, is 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 one is one of those things where it's. It, it's an unfortunate thing, and that's one of the reasons why everyone has to be aware, including the actor, about how dangerous even a prop gun can be. So that's the reason why you have to check it as as if you're, or if you, you at least you have to be able to handle the prop gun as if it is a real gun, because even because because even if it didn't have a live round in it, anything could could pop, anything that that comes out that's in the chamber could when it's discharged could possibly strike and kill someone. So ultimately at the end, in, in the end, um, Alec Baldwin is definitely responsible for this and, um, any, any type of, uh, punishment that, that comes out of this, Alec Baldwin should definitely stand charged for that. But, um, but this is definitely a, an intriguing case, not necessarily because of the unfortunate event, but just for the simple fact that Alec Baldwin is a pro gun control advocate, meaning this is the this is a guy that supposedly that has spoken out against uh, gun ownage 
and anyone else owning a gun. He doesn't believe in the Second Amendment. But yet, this man found a way to be near a gun and and, uh, and, and, and to be near a gun that he wound up using um, to kill a uh, <clears throat> a, a movie a, a, a movie crew member on a movie set. Now, granted, it's a movie, so so everything is acting. It's it's all it's all make believe. But for a person that's supposed to be a gun control advocate, what business do you have being around a gun in the first place? All right. So the simple fact that uh, Alec Baldwin is a pro gun control advocate and yet he volunteered to use a gun that ultimately killed a crew member on a movie set just shows the blatant hypocrisy that we see in Hollywood. This is one of the reasons why you, no one should listen to Hollywood elites because they say one thing and they do something completely different. And I have proof of that. I definitely have proof. Uh, forgive me for not for not being able to keep eyes on you. Um, I have I have information here on my laptop that I will be reading to you. But um, I'm gonna I'm going to try to engage with uh, with the camera as 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 much as I can. Okay, but I figured I wanted to I wanted to do this because uh, I want you guys to know. Um, that I, I want you I want you guys to really know, you know, the type of person that Alec Baldwin is. Because Alec Baldwin is a guy that states that he does not stand for guns and he doesn't and he feels that that guns are the ones that are responsible for all of the the the, the murders that are happening uh in in America even though we know that Gun that guns can cannot kill people. People kill people. But once again, this is something that Alec Baldwin will never bring up. Just like just like the Democrats won't will never bring that up because Democrats can care less about speaking about a person's morality. All they care about is more of what committed the action as opposed of looking at the person that committed the action itself. But I digress. So let's so let's go into it. So, um, in 2018, Alec Baldwin joined a celebrity coalition, the No Rifle Association. Uh, it's paragraph. Um, it's in, in parentheses the NORA, whose goal was to shine a light on the National Rifles Association alleged hold on the on the U.S. government. Uh, in in one of the letters that they wrote. It states, we're going to shine a bright light on what you done on what you and your organization do to America. The NORA initiative wrote in a 2018 letter to NRA Executive Vice President Wayne LaPierre. We're going to make sure the whole world sees your bloody hands. We're coming for your money. We're coming for your puppets. And we are going to win. So... Alec Baldwin was a part of, of a group that wanted to take down the NRA. So, the It's Complicated star, meaning, this is describing Alec Baldwin, has also gone after former NRA spokesperson Dana Loesch on social media. And I want to read you what Alec Baldwin wrote on Twitter to Dana Loesch on March 5th, 2018. It states, I see that uh, Dana Loesch wants to take back the truth and she does not care about how many dead bodies she has to step over in that pursuit. The Second Amendment is not a moral credit card that buys you all the guns you want. The law needs to be rethought. Okay, this now this is a guy that stated that <clears throat> that the Second Amendment should be 
um, that the Second Amendment should be amended, meaning he, he wants it to be abolished, and that <clears throat> people don't have the right to own guns, except for him when he wants to use it uh, in a movie to exploit the public of their dollars. Okay, this is how the Hollywood elites think. All right, he says one thing, but then he's involved in a in a in a movie that involves guns. Okay, two plus two equals four, not five. If Alec Baldwin was completely uh, totally against guns, then what is he doing on a movie set with one? Okay. Um, <clears throat> So again, um, pending, I mean, the investigation is pending. Based on the way the investigation is going, it's quite possible that Alec Baldwin will be arrested on uh, third, third degree murder charges, and rightfully so. Um, it's possible that, that, there are, that the three other people that, that also um, were in, involved in inspecting a gun could, I mean, they, could, could, they, could they face possible charges? Two, it's possible, but for the most part, most well, for the most part, if they are not criminally charged, they will definitely will be um, they they will definitely be responsible for um, for civil damages, meaning that these people will be sued. So tough spin, tough spin. Now, a lot, I know there are people that are saying God, God doesn't like ugly. I mean, Alec Baldwin, this is, this is a man that says that he's totally against guns. And then it's ironic that he uses a gun that kills a crew member on a movie set. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you think about, about uh, the Alec Baldwin situation? And... Is is this <clears throat> you know is this a way for for payback for for Alec Baldwin supposedly stating that he's against guns and then and then turns out that he winds up using a gun to kill someone on a set? Let me know what what you guys think. Leave a comment below after you subscribe to to my channel. <laughs> um, uh, smash the like button. Uh, if you like the video, um, and after you subscribe, um, click on the notification bell so that you'd be able to get exclusive content as soon as I'm able to post it, share the video, share the video if you like the video, and last but not least, come on, subscribe, because I'm always going to be able to provide you content uh, as, as I go through, okay? And... And, uh, and the content that I usually present is, is content that, that will, will keep you intrigued for, for the majority of the video. And with that being said, this is The Conservative. I'm signing out. Have a blessed day.